Okay, we have Munir trying to call us. Let us see. <clears throat> Let me grab some water. Well, he's not answering. All right. Hey, Munir. You just called me, huh? Yes, hey, hey, can you hear me? Hey, how are you, my friend? Yes, uh, yes, I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. Uh, so, are we better today? Uh, I, I don't know, really, you know. Uh, I haven't said too, too much. Can, can you speak louder? Your voice is gone. I don't know what happened. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now it's good. good now? No, yeah, now it's good. No, I haven't slept too too much. Uh, just two days since uh, since I spoke to you. Oh, okay. And uh, 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 yeah, I'm a little bit nervous uh, because um, I, I have been thinking a lot. Because uh, when you ask me uh, simple questions uh, like uh, why do you pray, and uh, I couldn't answer you, you know. Right. And uh, it felt uh, it felt bad, you know. Uh, it felt like I was just following something that that I didn't even know what it was you know so, so uh, I have been watching uh, uh, your, your voice is gone again I think your mic your mic is moving um, Amonia your mic is okay, moving okay I, I will try to stay still I'm All a right. little bit nervous uh, uh, can you hear me good now yeah yeah so you were you were uh, saying you were thinking about your prayer and why you are praying yeah. Yeah. When when you ask me this, uh, uh, like uh, it's an easy question, you know. But uh, I never thought about it, you know. And um, it made me feel like, um, yeah, it, it, it didn't make me, it, it didn't make me feel that good, you know. Okay. Uh, in, 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 in which in which way does it make you feel good? Why? Uh, it felt like I was just following something that I didn't even um, I, I couldn't even explain it. I couldn't even uh, answer you. Uh, yeah, I couldn't even answer you. This. Uh, you, you mean you mean you you, you came you came to a conclusion that your prayer doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, uh, you, you know, I was watching a video that you did uh, yeah. uh, after this, and um, you were speaking about Zhao Jian, uh, a word in, uh, Zhao Jian, in the yeah. video Zhao Jian. Right. Yeah, and it meant uh, I think it meant uh, two pairs, two mm -hmm. pairs or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the translation said uh, one and one or two and two. T two and two. Yeah, one of them says two and two, and the rest of the one they say uh, two, yeah, two pairs. Yeah, and the pairs. rest of the one said uh, one and one. So yeah, uh, it made me think like uh, maybe they they are tricking us with the translation, you know? Because if Zaujia means uh, two pair, why don't they write? Two pair, you know. Yeah, not only this. You know, if, I don't know if you saw when uh, when this guy, his name is Nightmare. He tried to refute me. Uh, he said, "Yeah, I was, uh, I was listening." Yes, I yeah. Was listening. We asked him about the mule. Do you remember we asked him about the mule? He said, uh, uh, "Allah, he said, if, uh, he created from everything two, from everything, Allah, yeah, he created yeah. two. Okay. Yeah. So we asked him, uh, okay, Allah created from everything two. And Allah, he said, he created yes. he created the mules. Did he create two mules? He said, yeah, maybe properly uh, in the beginning. <laughs> you know, I, I heard it, but it, it, that went over my head because I don't even know what a mule, what it means, you know, because English is not really my language. I didn't even know what mule means, you know. So that went over my head. I know that you was uh, laughing and having fun about that, but uh, I, I didn't understand it, to, to be honest. But yeah. like the, the words Zaujan and... Uh, uh, how they change it to, to mean something else? Uh, it felt like, uh, yeah, it's not it's not a good thing. Like you change it to 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 make it match uh, your your agenda or something like that. You know. So what uh, what you want to share with us today?
uh, additional to this uh, uh, prayer thing? No, I just I just feel like you know I'm in vacation right now, so uh, it was my friend. He's a Christian. He told me to to call you up. Okay. Do, and, you, um, do you want us to have more of the conversation about the prayer, or we change the topic? Uh, you know, it, 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 the, the thing that you did with the, the Arabic uh, Arabic word, uh, I would like to see more more of that. Like if if they change the translrations, uh, the meanings, you know, because um, every, every, yeah, everything was, uh, everything in the in the translation is absolutely far away from the the what is the Quran is saying. As an example, when the Quran speak about beat your wives, let me show you. Beat your wife as an example. Yes. Adru buhanna. All right. This is a chapter for verse number thirty-four. I will show you translation by one. This is the one adru buhanna. Adru buhanna mean beat them. Mean beat them. Okay. If we if we go to see the translation, we go to Yosef Ali. Okay. All right. It says, uh, as those women who, uh, on those part you fear disloyalty and ill conduct, admonish them, and then he put the words first, so that exists in the Quran. Then, next, refuse to share a bed with them. It doesn't say that in the Quran. At last, at least, beat them lightly. It doesn't say that in the Quran. There's no first, there's no second, and there's no third. This is number one. Number two, it says in Arabic, I will go to the Arabic and I will translate for you. It says, okay. those who you fear their disobedience, hmm, give them warning, which means tell them they are doing wrong. Jail them in their rooms, not not sleep with them in the bed. Madaja al Madaja is not only the bed, it is the bedroom. So jail them in their rooms who is the one who will be ignored in their rooms is the women not the man so jail them in their rooms and then beat them there is no first and there is no second and there is no lightly and etc so oh, okay you're saying there's, there's no steps to, to there's no steps to even the translation is false you know the translation if you remember the story okay. where a woman she came to, to muhammad and her husband he did beat her until her skin became a green or her clothes so what lightly? Muhammad, he took the side of the man. The women, her skin became a greener. Look at the hadith. Rafa divorced his yeah. wife for upon Abdul Rahman, etc., etc. Uh, you know, she came yes. and Aisha, she said, look at her, look at her. She's wearing a green veil, huh? and look at her. Yeah. her. Her skin, I have not seen any women suffering as much as the believing women. Look, her skin is a greener than her clothes. And this verse about beating women came because of this story. Then the Muslim in the translation, they say, beat her lightly. The guy, he beat her until her skin is greener than clothes. That is lightly? Where is the word lightly coming from? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, hey, you know, um, uh, if you remember when we talked last, uh, I told you like um, the hadiths, you know, that I don't really know too much about, about that, you know. Uh, so, so I don't know if I, I should trust the hadiths, you know. It's, it's my, so hard my, for, for my friend, you cannot trust the Quran. Understand why. You cannot trust the Quran. You cannot trust the hadith because the hadith is a Quran and the Quran is a hadith. Actually, the hadith is more important than the Quran. As an example, where in the Quran it says pray five times? It doesn't show that. It's in the hadith. Yeah, I remember. So which one we will take? That, the, uh, take the hadith or the Quran? We take the hadith because obviously the hadith is more important. At the same time, the Quran itself is a hadith. And, and, and you know, uh, you as a supposed a Muslim, born of a Muslim family, shouldn't you ask questions about like how come the Quran is the book of God and full of stupidity? If I ask questions like that, no, 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 I, I never ask. No, no, like, like that, not uh, ask yourself. Don't ask people. I'm saying you should ask yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I had, I had a while, like uh, since I was like 18 till till I was like uh, 25, 26. I, I, I wasn't a Muslim, you know. I was out partying and stuff like that, you know. Uh, so I wasn't a Muslim then. I, I didn't follow. I didn't follow uh, Islam or anything like that. It was. It was uh, actually by myself that I 
I came back to the Quran and I was I was starting to read the, the Quran and uh, yeah you know I think I think uh, I think I got a little bit scared you know when I when I read it you know uh... And, uh, you know because you get you get a little bit scared you get a lot of joy too but you get you get uh, you get scared when you read it too, you know, because you don't want to end up in hellfire, you know. Well, now you are not in the age of uh, afraid of um, such a thing, you know, you can think no, carefully. No, 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 I'm trying to, I'm trying uh, to, I'm trying yeah. to learn by myself, you know, I'm trying to learn now. Uh, I didn't, uh, I, I really didn't like that uh, when you showed that Zaujan, you know, because that means... Uh, this, is, this is nothing compared to the rest, I mean, this is really, this is just little thing. Uh, but yes, yes, let, yes, let, yes. let me show you something from the Quran which will show something stupid about about the story uh, if you read if you go if you go this is a chapter uh, 66 all right okay. if you go to chapter 6 everybody can go the chapter start, O oh Prophet, while you are forbidden to yourself what is, is lawful for you. You seek your wives uh, like uh, happiness because the wives they found Muhammad having sex with one of the slaves, so he promised them he would not do it again. So he said, I, I promise I will never do it. So Muhammad later, he, he got horny again. He liked this woman, she's pretty. So he said, Well, Allah, he sent me this verse, I cannot do it. It's, it's my lawful. I'm going to sleep with her again. Then the story continue uh, uh, about Muhammad and his his wives. Verse number two, verse number three, verse number four. Allah is threatening the wives. If you don't, uh, uh, if you if you don't obey the Prophet, Allah and the angels and Jibreel and the believers all they will be against you. Just two women fighting with the man. Then after that, then Allah He says to him. Maybe your God will will divorce the wives and replace them for you. Muhammad will make a verse, threaten his wives. If you don't behave, Allah will replace you with better wife. So Allah obviously is a toy for Muhammad. He make him in a, in a private matter about his wives. The guy, he promised his wife he will not sleep with this woman. Allah is involved. He is threatening the women. He won't divorce them. And right away after that, we will find that the story change. I mean, what is the connection between verse number five Verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and what is after? And if any Muslim here can tell me, please let me know. What is the connection there in this story? You see, there's no connection. Read the whole verses. You, this is a proof that the one who wrote the Quran is not even smart. What is the connection between a fight between the wives of the Prophet and then go to jihad? Okay, okay. What jihad have yeah, to do so is, is say, O oh, Prophet, Go and kill the kuffar and the hypocrites and be harsh on them for they are going to end in hellfire and a, 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 a bad ending. What does this have to do with his wives? And then suddenly he jumped to speak again about the wife of Noah. Like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are talking about going jihad. Go, I advise everybody to go read. You know, what does verse have to do yeah. with this verse and the verse before it and the verse before it and the verse before it? Obviously, it's a guy who is, he, he has a mental issue, he cannot concentrate. In, the, in English, they call it the, the flight of thoughts, I think. The flight of thoughts. Where somebody There's is speaking. Flight of thoughts. Flight of thoughts. Yeah, okay. which like your thought is everywhere, you know. You, you, you cannot concentrate yeah. on a topic. You want to talk, but you talk, but you talk about, like somebody you speak about, so, so, suddenly you speak about your beer, and then you speak about your wife, and then you speak about your work. Yeah. And then you go back to your beer, you know, and this yeah. is exactly how the Quran is. If this is the book of God, like if you go to the, the Bible, you go in the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis is talking about how God created the earth and the heaven and then Adam and etc. You go in the Quran, you will find the stories all over. Yeah, it's more like uh, it, it flows. Uh, it's like from beginning to end, you mean. There is no story. There is no story in the story. There is no connection between, uh, uh, you know, one of the uh, major reasons for of success of to writing a book that the con the the line before have to be connected with the line after otherwise people will be lost and this is a book 
have yeah. no connection between the line before and the line after. Yeah, yeah. Or what is uh, the <laughs> what is the what is the logic? Uh, uh, you know, when he uh, uh, when he speak about uh, uh, chapter eighteen, all of it. You know, like the the flying carpet of Suleiman, and uh, he sp he heard the end. And he, I mean, what we what we heard from this? You know. Yeah, yeah. What what is the what is the law what 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 we what a human being learn from Suleiman sorry uh, heard, he heard the, the the end and he learned something from the the end we don't know like what what is exactly uh, the end have to do with him I don't we don't know Had, until he arrived to the value of the ants. And then the Namla, the, the one of the ants, she said to the other ants, hide, otherwise Suleiman will crush you. Okay, Muslims, what we learn from this? What is the purpose of Allah telling us this story? And ants don't talk, and they are deaf. This is the truth. You can go right now and search. Ants, they communicate either by vibration or by chemical. If we can say talk, this is how they talk. But here, the Quran is so clear. It says that he heard her speech. Do you see it? So he smiled and used at her speech. But how, what Excuse speech? Me, can, 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 you, can, you, can you repeat that? I didn't, I didn't understand this. Uh, okay. the, the last part. We, we are in the chapter 27, chapter number 27. And we are reading yes. verse uh, 17, 18, 19. Suleiman, he marched until he arrived the value of the ants. All right? Yes. Okay. Yes, then yes. one of the ants, she said to the other ants, uh, hide, otherwise Suleiman, hide in your inhabitants, habitations, lest Suleiman his, and his host crush you under the foot without uh, knowing uh, it. Excuse me, to, to the ants, you mean like ants? Ants, ants, like ants. Ant, the, the ants speaking to the ants. It, the, the one is talking now is an ant too. <laughs> ants, okay, okay. Uh, the, the, ant, the, little, the, the little ants, you know, the one with the, you know, the small oh, tiny yeah, one. Yeah, the yeah. insect. I hear what you're saying. The, the insect, the insect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, insects. Yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why I ask because ants. Yeah, so yeah. the ant, she told the other ants, hide, otherwise Suleiman will, will, um, will uh, crush you. And then Suleiman, he smiled and he, because he was amused of her speech, why he was amused with her speech? Any Muslim can tell me like what a big deal. I believe that all animals, all creatures, insects, birds, etc., they have a warning system and they warn each other and they run when there's a danger. The same as a human being, they do. So why he was amused with her speech? I mean, what the end she said? She make a speech in the United Nation. She just said Yeah. yeah. Secondly, the ants don't talk. When you say it's so, it's so crazy because uh, when, when I read it, you know, I never looked at it. You know, I didn't see it like my friend like this, ants. You know? Ants are it's deaf. Crazy. Ants. You can go right now to yeah, Google yeah, 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 and yeah. search. Ants are deaf, and they because they are deaf, they don't talk. Very simple. Because when you are deaf, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, even yeah. a human being. Yeah, but uh, ants don't talk either way. So. No, no. Even a human but, being. Even a human being. If he if he's deaf, right, he don't talk. He will go mute, not because he cannot use his tongue, but because but because he heard nothing to learn about talking, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So a mute person, he is a mute usually because he's deaf, unless he became deaf later after he became old. But if he's yeah. born, if he born deaf, then he will be mute. So what in school they do? They teach them how to move their tongue to make pronounced words, but yet they cannot hear themselves. And they don't learn it simply because they cannot hear it. You know, a child, yes. a, a, your child, when you have a son, you say to him, say, Baba, you know, he, he heard, he hear it, he repeat it, Baba, okay, Baba, okay. But if he is a mute, God forbid, he will not learn from you. And the, de the ant is deaf. It's a mute insect. They don't talk. Yeah. They they communicate by vibration and by chemical. As an example, if the if the ant found food, or even a warning, they spread the chemical to warn their other animals, or other uh, uh, insects, the ants, 
to tell them here is dangerous or they vibrate in each other as a vibration like Morse system you know but they don't talk same time the Quran says that Allah he taught Suleiman the language of birds so how Allah he taught him the language of the birds but yet Suleiman is speaking the language of the ants you know what I mean yeah, yeah. And then Suleiman, mean, you know? and and then Suleiman, he have, he have ra army, uh, of birds and genies and a human. How how in the world somebody is a human being in two year two thousand seventeen? He believed that there's a guy. He have an army of a chicken. Army of a what? Chick chicken, 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 chickens. Pop 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 chicken. Yeah. Imagine an army and chicken of of birds, and those uh, and this uh, and this army have ranks, which means there's a general chicken, there's major chicken, there's better than chicken, there's captain chicken. I mean, and not only that, then he checked between his and his army, he found one of his birds, the hubu, is missing. Do you know what the hubu is? No, no, I don't know. Let me search for you in Google so you can see the image. All right. This is the bird we are talking about. Do you see it? This is the minister. This this bird is a minister for Suleiman. He is a minister of irrigation and womanizing, which means he look for women for him who have no hair in their in, in their in their feet, in their legs. The bird. The bird is a minister for Suleiman. And look for. Uh, yeah. This is a bird who is a minister for Suleiman, and this bird once was missing. So Suleiman he said, because he's, this is his minister, that's why he noticed him is not there. So he said, Where is the hub hub? If he did not give me a good excuse, I swear by Allah I will slaughter him. How somebody he go to school, he go to university, he have a little intelligence, he will believe in this garbage. Yeah, you know, but, but you I say understand it? when when I when I when I read the Quran, it's like it's like I, I didn't see I didn't see this, you know. No, well, I don't it's understand okay. how how it works, you know. And look, look, look. Because the bird, the bird, the the Suleiman, he checked the bird. He did not find him. So he said, "I swear by Allah, I was I was I will certainly punish him and slaughter him if you don't give me a, a reason for the absence." Then the bird, he came back. He said to him. Uh, I was looking for you and I found a woman she is in a throne on top of her uh, throne and her people worship the Sun blah 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 bird so they might well, what is that and why those things don't, don't happen to Muhammad why Muhammad don't have a flying carpet and the minister bird and an army of a chicken and genies I mean oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This what this sounds, what I this what I want the Muslims to 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 think of. It's just a simple logic. Do this make sense to yeah, you? Yeah, you know, you know, you know. You open up my eyes, you know, because I didn't see this when when I was reading. Because sometimes when you don't understand the text, you, you just move on, you move on you know, to to understand something and you pick up something. But it's like a lot of uh, the text I don't understand it. I have to be honest, I don't understand a lot of the text, you know. So. Um, yeah, I just uh, take your time. Take your time, my friend. Strange. Take it your feels time. It's a little bit strange when you see it like this. You know, it feels a little bit strange. You know? yeah, this is kind of you know you don't need to be genius to know that this is this is a this is a fiction story, stupid story. It cannot be from God. But you know what is what, what is it about? You know, there's yeah. there's no way anyone. This is not it, this story is not even good for someone is uh, is ten years old. If you tell it to him, he would know you're lying to him. Yeah. You know, you tell him there's a king. He have a minister. He is a bird, and you show him the the picture of the bird. He will love. And then you say to him, the king. He have an army of chickens, and roost and roosters, and uh, and the turkey, like what? And then he have a flying car. But they will know that you are. You know, I, I once I spoke to to a child. She is like uh, uh, seven, eight years old, seven years old, I think. I think. I told her about uh, there was a broom in the in the corner of their house. I said, this is the, do this broom fly? You know, like I'm just talking to a kid, supposedly, like in the magic, you know, in the cartoon. She said to me, you think I'm stupid? Broom don't fly. <laughs> 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 
on is the guy. She said to me, she said to me, do you think I'm stupid? The broom don't fly. Even a kid, she is six, seven years old. She did not believe it. So how a Muslim in this age believe that there's a flying carpet can carry hundreds of thousands? Yes. This is my question to you because I don't understand how, how I missed all this, you know. I just don't understand it. It's crazy when you look at it like this and you you sit here and explain it for me. But I don't understand how I missed it. Understand. It's maybe, okay. Maybe it's, Everything have a time. It's, it's all right. My, my maybe friend. it's because of the fear, or fear or something. Because uh, I do feel a lot of fear when I when I read it. You know, you you want to be good, good person and do good, and you know you don't want to make mistakes and stuff, uh, stuff like that. You know. So. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, but uh, but I'm but I'm saying everything have a time. It's all right. You know. Uh, yeah. Everything happened for a reason and. Uh, uh, maybe it's not time for you yet to wake up, but no, you know, never, never too late. You know? Yeah, it's never too late. You know, I, I, I wanted to thank you, like, uh, really thank you, because uh, I have been thinking a lot uh, these two days, and uh, I, I've been looking. Uh, some of your videos, actually, I've been looking, uh, looking at it, and uh, yeah, it's a lot that seems strange, even in the Quran, because before I was most exposed to the hadiths and. Uh, and it seemed too strange for me, and uh, I didn't want to accept it, you know. But when you went into the Quran, and uh, yeah, I cannot defend it, you know. I cannot defend it. It's it, just... it. Yeah. Well, if you go to chapter as an example, chapter twenty-one, verse number eighty-one or eighty-two. Let me show you. Eighty twenty-one. Eighty. Uh, let us see. All right. <coughs> Here we will see Suleiman have a flying carpet, but in this flying carpet, it can carry all his kingdom, his horses, his cows, his donkeys, his chicken army. Look, read with me. Uh, and to Suleiman, we subjugated. Let me make it bigger. Okay. All right. We subjugated the wind strongly. Ragging means we subjugated the strong wind to Suleiman, running by his command toward the land, etc. And then he says, uh, he had a mat, a mat. You know what mat? It's like a carpet. Carpet. Uh, so. Map, uh, uh... He had a mat. A carpet, a carpet. Yeah, he had a mat made of wood yeah. on which he would place the equipment of his kingship, horses, camels, tents, and troops. Then he would command the winds to carry it. And he would, it would, uh, he would go underneath it, which means the wind, and it would carry him aloft, shading him and protecting him from the heat until he reached whenever he want to go. So Suleiman, anytime we want to go anywhere, he ordered his army to ride the carpet and then they, after they st stand in the top of the carpet, him and his horses, as you see, camels, look, equipment. Yeah, everybody was standing on the... Yeah, on, on the horses, road. camels, tents, troops, chickens, everything, you know, all kind of animals. Okay, okay, okay. And then the whole kingdom of fly. Now, how a Muslim believe in this? And not only this, it says later that Suleiman he used to have six hundred thousand chairs in the top of the carpet. This is for the men. So, imagine we have airplane now in the year two thousand seventeen, can fly and carry seven hundred thousand traveler. Or six hundred, or even five hundred thousand, half million. Yeah, imagine, you know. Oh, uh, brother, this is hard for me. You know, it's very hard. For me. Uh, it's very, very, very emotional for me. This. Well, if you want, but, uh, if you want my advice, if, you. if you want my advice, oh, my, if you want my advice, just denounce Islam and say I'm out of it. 
I mean, what are you waiting for? If they are not convinced with this, uh, if you are sure that this is something stupid to believe in, I mean, what are you waiting for? Yeah. No, uh, I think uh, I think in my heart I have already denounced it. Uh, it's going to be different, like uh, in uh, real life. But in my heart, yes. Well, in your heart is the important in real I life. Defend it, you know? Yeah, you, you do not need to defend anything, you know. But uh, yeah. as long as you said you denounce Islam, I'm so happy for you. And you know, you you better uh, think about something, you know, good for your future. Islam is not. It's not good for someone to have any kind of intelligence and doesn't take you anywhere. It's like a drugs. Uh, you know, everybody's in drugs. You know, believe in this God, he will give you virgins, naked women, uh, etc. Well, you want to get naked women, they are uh, go, they are in the street. Uh, they are, there is hookers, there is prostitutes. Uh, you want to fly without flying, go and take some uh, cocaine, you know, if, if you are, if Allah is God of the cocaine. All what Islam is promising is nothing but a cocaine. It's not. It's not real. It's fiction, and it's destroying the life of people, the life of who do, who believe, and even the life who don't believe. Because people who don't believe in Islam, they suffer because of Islam too. Yeah, you know, uh, it was my friend that uh, that asked me to call you. He's a Christian, you know, and uh, we've been discussing uh, lately, you know, and uh, I always had a problem with some verses uh, in the Quran uh, that says like um, do not take Christians and, and Jews for friends and uh, you know I have uh, two, two, two friends that is Christian and uh, one is like like hardcore or what you can call it he keeps the Sabbath and you know uh, stuff like that he always invites me yeah. to, to when they have Sabbath and um, they discuss the Bible and stuff like that, but I, I, I never went there, you know, but I always had a problem with those verses, you know, like do not take them for, for friends, you know, because uh, I never understood why. why My friends, even your family, friends, you know? even your family, if they are not Muslims, even your father, your brother, you cannot take them as a friend. If you go to ch chapter 9, verse number 23, right away yeah. you will see, it says, take not your fathers and your brothers as a friends. Or protectors, unless they are Muslims. So even your family, you cannot take them as a friends. Are you, are you sure? Oh yeah, chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine. I can show it to you right away. You know, nine. Yeah. Sorry, uh, nine twenty-three. Uh, nine twenty-nine about fighting the Christians. <coughs> Here we go. Oh, you believe? Do not take your fathers and brothers for your friends. Do you see it? Uh, I see it now. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you believe? Do not take your fathers and brothers for your friends if they pref if they prefer if they have chosen disbelief over belief. Whoever of you takes them for friends, such are the evildoers yeah yeah so if you take your father and your brother as a friend for and he is not a Muslim you are an evil yeah 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 I cannot uh, agree with that you know you know the one I love my family you know? yeah the one you are talking about about the Christians is chapter uh, 551 but this is about your family I mean even your family yeah. can't, can't I mean this is madness but uh, obviously this man is a madman he want everybody to hate everybody you see we as a Christians We've been taught to love even our enemies. You as a Muslim, okay. you've been taught to love to hate even your father and your brother. If they don't, if they aren't Muslims, you see the difference. The Christian yeah, Jesus, yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. said to them, you "Love your enemy, even the one who chop your head, even the one who kill you. Love your enemy." That's what Jesus said. This man Muhammad, he said to you, "Even your father and your brother, from your blood, hate them." You are evil if, if you love them. If they don't believe he, you. He call you, imagine, he call you evil doers for loving someone. You see yeah. it? Who, who is that person? Yeah, I see. He is your, your father and your brother. And, and, and when, and when, when he say a, a father and brother, he means sisters, mother, everything, you know? Yeah, but yeah, he's, yeah. No, he's talking to, about men. He's speaking to men, so always he mentioned men. So 
You don't take your father, your mother, your sister, all of those are evil. If you love them, you are evil like them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I cannot, uh, I cannot agree with that, you know, because I have, uh, I have, I think I have my own morals too, you know, at the same time, you know. You see, trust me, my friend, even if you are the worst criminal in the world, you have better moral than Muhammad and his Quran. Okay. You see, moral, moral is, is a very flexible statement. Many people, they use it. So, yeah. Someone like Muhammad, he raped, he killed, and he steal, and he, he even he encouraged his men to attack the Roman just to get the blonde girls. And then they speak and they say that he is the best of mankind. Now the moral of a criminal will not a criminal if you if you God forbid you go to jail and you sit with him in jail, he will not say to you you should hate your parents. Even he's a criminal, even a drug dealer, he will not say that to you. No, I don't think nobody should say that. I don't think nobody should. You know, in, in the in the Bible, in the Bible, uh, you know, uh, Jesus speak about people will hate you, including your family, because of him. You know, yeah. and Jesus speak about <clears throat> like the Muslim might say to you, "Well, Jesus said, if you don't hate your family and love him more than anyone, uh, uh, you know, you 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 don't you don't uh, you don't deserve me." The Messiah always. Can you can you repeat? I don't hear what you said. The Muslims, the Muslims sometimes, the Muslims they sometimes they say to us, "Well, Jesus said, and He is ordering His followers to love Him, and to hate their family." That's not yeah. true. The Messiah, He, the Bible, all of it, is about loving everybody. And the yeah. Messiah always speak about, if you love something more than me, you don't belong to me. What why what is that more than me mean? Because simply, it's about your salvation, your family, they, they are something coming to you by birth. Then Me, who, who is saying that? Uh, is it, is it, is it... Uh, the Messiah. No, no, the, the Messiah, the Messiah. He ordered us to love him oh. more than anything. But at the same time, he ordered us to love okay. everyone, not only our family, but the enemy. But the Muslim will say to you, sometimes they yeah. take verses out of context, they will say to you, well... In the Bible, you are required to love Jesus and hate anyone for his sake. That's not true. Jesus, he ordered us to love everyone. Even he says, love your enemy, bless those who curse you. This is how far he goes with love. And your family, yeah. when he talk about the family, uh, what, what the Messiah always explained to us, that because you love me, people will hate you. Because you are with me, your family will go against you. And this is very normal, like now you. If you decide to become a Christian, what your family might do, because they want to understand why you left Islam, they will stop talking to you, maybe they will hate you. Even some of them, they kill their children for leaving the religion, you know? Uh, yeah, that would be my, uh, I wouldn't say my direct family, but uh, uh, what, you do, what do you say? Not my mother and father, you know, because uh, they are very... They are very easy on me, you know. I can do what I want because I I, I didn't follow uh, the religion uh, for a while, you know. I came back to it uh, by myself. Nobody told me that, that I have to do it, you know. So yeah, it's it's okay. My you family, know. my fam my my father and mother is uh, easy like that. But uh, yeah, when you say the extended family, that that would be. That would be probably always all, always if you want to follow someone see if he can be a best example for you do you think it's good for you to uh, uh, to do what Muhammad do as an example I mean there's something good like imagine Muhammad he went to his own son I don't know if you know the story of Zaid and Zainab you know it uh, is it from uh, the hadith no it's from the Quran Muhammad always when he have uh, something uh, moving his, uh, you know, the testicles of Muhammad, excuse my language, they are the one who made the Quran. So when Muhammad, he have a desire for a woman, he always made Quran to fulfill his desire. So you will see in the Quran, if you go here, uh, his testicles. His testicles, yes, because this guy, he, he, he created religion based on his testicles. He went to his own son, he did not find him home. You know, to his son, son, his son, uh, yeah, his son, chapter 33, verse number 37. 
he went to his son and he did not find his son home and he found the wife and the wife she was wearing sexy clothes see-through or something like that so Muhammad he flirted with her and he said to her praise be to Allah the one who made my heart matchmaker to you flip for you now do you think and Muhammad is the you know he is the father of Zaid by adoption you know uh, okay. if imagine if you have your father come to your house and then your wife when you come back home she says to you your father he was here and he flirted with me he says to me my heart is beating for you what you will do okay okay you know uh, that's that's not that's not good this is a prophet so, of God so that is that is what it says uh, in the Quran yeah that this is the Quran in front yeah. of you chapter 2 verse number cha cha chapter uh, 33 verse number 37 and the details about what happened exactly what he said it's in the hadith you know and in the inter interpretation okay. so if we uh, okay. uh, if we go uh, let us show you All right. If we go there's a book, it's called Asbab al Nuzul. We'll try to go there. I don't know if the story will be here in this book in English. Oh, it's, it's not here at Th all. Thank you, brother, for taking your time with me. Thank you. Oh, very no much. problem. Uh, no problem. I appreciate it. No I problem. But it. we can go to the Arabic. Too bad you don't speak Arabic because that will make it easier. Yes, I don't, I don't speak Arabic. Uh, The story here in front of us, and you can go, uh, you can go to Al Qurtubi, to Al Tabari, Al Qurtubi, or whatever you want, and you will find the story saying in their books that Muhammad he went to his uh, his own son wife, he found her alone, and uh, he said to her what he said uh, as I told you, and look what it says here, something very disgusting, and in some of the stories that after. The prophet he flirted with the women and he told her that he he have uh, really he, he want her. Each time Zaid he tried to have sex with her, his penis would swell. Now anyone knows guys why his penis would swell? Why each time the the husband of Zaid Zainab, his name is Zaid, the son of Muhammad by adoption. Imagine Muhammad he came to the house. And now he flirted with the wife, and he told her that he want her, he want to sleep with her. So now Zaid, after that, he want to sleep with his wife. After Muhammad, he flirted with her. Each time he tried, based on the Muslim ref reference, each time he tried to do that, his penis swell. Why? Obviously, Allah, he make his penis swell. The story in front of us, you know, this is the link. Any Muslim, he, he will say to me, this is not true. Here we go, this is the reference. So imagine oh, God, God Almighty, He make the husband penis swell so he will not be able to sleep with the women because the prophet he wanted her. Any Muslim have a comment? <clears throat> and this is the story here. You know, look, look. Uh, uh, let us see. Hard, man. This is hard. Uh, I have to be honest with you. This is hard. Yeah, like I, did, I, I didn't realize. Obviously, I didn't realize it. He forced, he forced his son to divorce the women so he can have her because he like her. And I believe strongly because, uh, that Muhammad he have relationship with this woman for a long time, but now it's time for him to have her in his home. He don't want her to be in the in the bed of someone else. So this is why they announced their relationship and Allah himself he made a chapter for him in the Quran he said make a verse for him saying why you are hiding your desire for the women but this woman is married imagine God he said to a man asking Muhammad or yeah Allah supposedly okay. is talking saying to him why you are hiding you know in your heart your desire for her you see, but the woman is married. 
God is encouraging. Muhammad say, uh, Allah. She, but she's married. Oh. No, no, no. No, it's not Muhammad okay. saying. But I, I'm saying. I'm saying Allah, he said to him, why oh. you are hiding? Why you are hiding your desire to her? Imagine God saying to a man, why you are hiding your desire to a married woman? I mean, this is sick. This is against all kind of religion. There's no religion in the world will say to you, even the cult ones, that if a man, it's okay for a man to love a woman, she's married. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what the verse is saying. Why you are hiding it? You, you fear, you fear that you are going, what, what people will say? Is that what you fear? But the man is still married to the wife. But then after he flirted with the woman, the woman she told the husband, the husband he oh, I said, ah, this guy is obviously sleeping with my wife. So he went to Muhammad, he is just a poor slave, he is no one. He was a slave, adopted, and then became a son. So he's, you know, he's no match. He cannot, he cannot ask him why you are doing that. So he said, uh, he went to his father, he said, my father, let me div uh, divorce this woman, she is insulting me, etc. And then the, the, the hypocrite Muhammad, he said to him, no, no, man, keep your wife. Like, look, look how hypocrite. In the morning he was uh, flirting with the wife, at night he is saying to him, keep your wife. Yeah. Oh, brother, brother, uh, I think, I think, uh, I, I don't want to see more right now. Uh, but uh, I had, a, uh, you know, I had a, before. I had a lot of questions, but uh, when I see this, you know, I don't even know why I should question anymore. You know, uh, there's there's nothing more to question. You know, it is it is what it is. It's there. You know, so. Well, I don't know. You know, for me as uh, as a Christian, I am here to help you and. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to push you to uh, to accept to to become a Christian or to accept the Messiah. But my invitation for everybody who wants salvation is to accept the Messiah. So if you feel like you want to know about the Christ, I will be happy to to help you. And if you feel like you want to accept Him, uh, you know He is He is there, the Messiah. He said, "Knock at my door, and I will open for you. Come to me, whoever who have pain, sadness." Uh, problems just come to me let me help you and I don't I don't think there's a best helper he can help more than this you know even Islam even Islam the cult of Islam the Messiah right now he is alive he is in heaven and he is coming back and he is yeah. the only one will destroy the devil and yeah. that that is telling you what the Messiah can do Muhammad right now is in the grave he is dead and he stink and by the way, Muhammad, he lied to his followers. He said to them that the grave does not swallow the dead prophets. Uh, okay. But then Muhammad, when he died, he stink. And Ibn Abbas, he said, you know, bury him, he smell, he stink, like what people stink, which is normal. When a human being, he die, you know, after a day or two, if you don't put him in a fridge, he will smell bad. So the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days. He died on Monday. He was buried on Wednesday. Three days without a refrigerator in a city which is Mecca, which is very hot in the middle of the desert. So in three days, he stink, he smell bad. But because Muhammad, he said, that prophets of God, their, their, uh, their, uh, their body cannot be consumed, cannot be destroyed. The earth will not, you know, read, read with me. Uh, let me show you the hadith. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, brother. But uh, I think I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see more right now. All right. But, uh, but I, I really want to thank you. I really want to thank you. And uh, I still believe in God. You know, I, I still believe in something good. So, so yeah, maybe, maybe we can, uh, maybe I can come and learn more. On your shows well call me anytime uh, you want if as, as any, anytime you wish if you have a question about Christianity I will be happy to help you too yes yes yeah I, I, even I though this is not my lot, this is not my topic but uh, yeah yeah but you know just just to yeah. give you an idea before you go about Christianity Christianity is very simple when they ask Jesus how to pray as long as we mentioned about prayer right 
He did not tell them to pray like this, but to give them an example how to pray. There's a prayer. Yeah, the, there was that thing we talked about last time, huh? Yeah, our Father we out of heaven. Yeah. Our Father yeah. out of heaven. Now, what what uh, uh, what this prayer is about? The beauty about it uh, that a Christian person, when he pray, the first thing he pray yeah. uh, 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 about, he present his love to others, so he can receive the love of God. And to explain yeah. to you simple, and this is how he used the difference between Christianity and Islam. When you pray in Christianity, you say to, to the to the Father, which means our God, we call him Father because we don't believe in slavery and we are slaves. God do not need slaves. So we say our Father, blessed is your name. Let you your let your, your will be done, which means we are giving our submission to the Lord, all right? Obedience. Yeah. As in the sky, as in, in, in the earth. Provide us with the bread of our day. We are thankful for the bread you give us. And then we say, and this is very important, maybe maybe even some Christians don't have attention to it. It says, and forgive to us our sin, the same we forgive to others. So you notice here in, in Christianity that you will be forgiven if you forgive. You know, yes. forgive to us as we forgive to others. So the Messiah, he taught us from the beginning. If you want to join me, you have to be in the team of people who forgive, not the people who hate. Yeah. Present forgiveness, then you deserve forgiveness. Like, why you want God to forgive you if you don't forgive? You know? Yes. So, the teaching of the Messiah from the beginning is based on forgiveness, based on love, and based on, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's say, uh, being, a, uh, being a friend to everybody, not an enemy to anyone. Forgive, okay. so you'll be forgiven. And this is the this is what the difference between Christianity and Islam. So when the Messiah he says to us about like how to pray, he did not ask us to pray exactly the same. We can pray anywhere we anywhere anywhere we we want, you know. <laughs> However, we always should be focusing in forgiveness and love, so we can be forgiven and should pro provide love by others. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I just don't think I can uh, take more right now. All right, no problem. I have to go and think. Uh, maybe I will just stop thinking. But uh, I am very, very thankful to you and uh, to the people in the chat for being so kind to me. And uh, yes, I, I will come back. I will come back. Well, tears, tears is good. They will make you close to God and don't be ashamed of them. They are not bad. And, you know, for, for, uh, the decent people is the one who they, who, they, who they have fear in their heart, not the bad ones. So don't, don't, don't be, uh, don't worry about it. I mean, uh, uh, good for you. You know, at least, uh, you know, you have a heart who, uh, who is uh, sensitive and you have a feeling. This is a good sign. No. I think I think it might be blessed. I think it might be blessed. Uh, absolutely, I, I believe the Lord. He wants something from you, and that thing is your salvation, not for His benefit, but for yours. And may the Lord, we pray, all of us, that the Lord will 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 guide you, will be with you, and will take you in a nice journey with Him. And then you will notice the difference between what it is before and what is it is after when you became with the Christ. And just to let you know, my friend, to be a Christian doesn't mean. When I say to you I'm a Christian, doesn't mean I am a good person, doesn't mean I'm a perfect person, doesn't mean I am better than anyone. We as a Christians, we ask the Messiah to be with us, to guide us, and to be in a journey with us, to save us from the sin we live in our life. Christians don't claim that if you recite the name of Jesus three times a day, as Muhammad is say, you go to heaven. We don't believe if you kiss a stone, Allah will forgive all your sin. We don't believe if you go around a, ca a, a stone and you kiss a stone, you will be forgiven. This is not how forgiveness come. As I said to you, the Messiah, all what he wants from you, you love him. He love you before even you love him. And you love others and you forgive others and you will be forgiven and your sin will be forgiven. However, you should walk the walk against sin, which means you don't say, if I became a Christian, 
that's mean my sin is gone so I can do sin as much as the, uh, as I want because some Muslim they lie about Christianity they say that Christians because Jesus died for their sin so they can sin as much they, they want this is false this is absolutely a big fat lie about Christianity we Christian been no, ordered. I think, yeah, I think we should all uh, do good and uh, like so yes. my friend. Uh, he's he's really like uh, hardcore. Like well, uh, I'm so glad. And, I'm so glad that you have a friend like that. So, you know, uh, stay with good friends. Yes, this is yeah, the best yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm very glad too. I'm very glad. Too. You know, in in the Middle East, we know you know him from his friend. Like your friend is a is a good sign about you. So if you work with a drug dealer, I mean, obviously you are a drug yeah. dealer, right? So sound like you have a very good friend and. Uh, Maybe he can call us uh, one day if you if you like. So we can we can thank him for yes. sending you some, sending someone like you to us. And uh, yes, yes, same yes, time, I believe that the Lord he thankful. yeah the Lord he used him you know to speak to you and bring you here. Uh, he used me and he used him. And I believe the Lord he will have a very great use for you between your family, your community to love everybody, to love your family and to be good to them, and to be good to Muslims too. Because you know we as a Christians. We don't want and we will not hate the Muslims. <clears throat> we don't believe in hate. We are against hate. We no, don't I want don't, violence. I don't believe in hate. Yeah. I don't believe in hate. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, so, I really don't. I really don't. so it's 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 very important for us as a Christians to maintain ourselves in balance and not to be not to fail into temptation of hate and anger. Because always Satan he make try to make us angry. Like sometimes Muslims they do things aggressive, they kill. Uh, you know, they, they torture people, etc. Make us ag aggressive, make us angry. But you have to hold yourself and remember that those Muslims themselves, they are lost and they are victims of the devil. So we pray for their salvation. We pray that Lord, He will save them and they will see the truth. And the truth always will set you free. And I advise you, uh, I don't know if you have a Bible at home. Do you have a Bible, uh, Munir? I actually, I actually have a Bible. Uh, All right. I have, I have one. I think it's uh, the Jehovah's, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses. Bible. No, no, this is not. This I is not. Really no, 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 no. This is not a Bible. This is not a Bible, my friend. This is. Okay. okay. Uh, 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 you can. You can. Yeah, I want you to burn this. This one in the in, in the barbecue. Don't use it. Oh, okay. Okay. This is not. This is not a Christian book. This is those. This is a cult. Uh, you can. You can. Uh, you can download any video, uh, any Bible from the internet. And if you want, actually, yeah. uh, you can give me your address, and I will I will be sure to send you an, a, a Bible signed by me as a gift from me. All right. Okay, okay. Now, is, what what is what language you you read with? Is it English? Is it your first language, or you have different language? No, no. I live in Scandinavia. I live in Scandinavia. Oh, so. okay. I but see. I will try to read it in English too. I will try. To yeah, maybe, English maybe, uh, maybe then you can you can get uh, a Bible in your uh, in your. Uh, language because that I think would be better you know because that would be e easier for you to understand you know? yeah, yes I hear you I hear you I really want to thank you brother I really, really oh you're welcome you know I'm here to uh, for, for uh, no I I actually appreciate. you gave us a blessing all of us today and we are happy to have you and uh, you know it's uh, the Bible says there's a happiness in, in the kingdom of God for a person who is saved what is what only is a thing is missing now for me to, to toward you is you when you accept the Messiah and you say I believe in him and I accept him as my Lord as my Savior but I'm not going to ask you to do it unless you are convinced and you feel you might do it you know we, we don't uh, no, I will not do it if I'm not convinced right. so, uh, I will, I will look at, I will so I want you to read the Bible first before before you uh, yes, before you accept the Messiah read about him and you will see that you are different of the wisdom the Messiah he teach you know uh, yeah, yes you see uh, the, the, there is something uh, I want to tell you about about uh, uh, when the Messiah he talked you see the Messiah spoke 2,000 years ago <clears throat> and based on this date 2,000 years ago his stories should not fit with our day today because I mean we have totally different understanding different word Everything around us has changed, right? But it's still, the Messiah words, which is mentioned 2,000 years ago, amazingly fit for every second and every time today, tomorrow, after one million year, you will see how amazing his teaching is. And that what make me more believe and trust the Messiah for his when the Messiah he said the heaven and the earth 
will go and my word will not go. He's not talking only about a word, like by letters. He's talking about his wisdom. He's talking about his love. He's talking about his teaching. He's talking about his present, for he is the word of God. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, I don't want to tell you read certain part of the Bible. I advise you to start reading uh, maybe page by page, story by story, and you will you will see the difference. Maybe you start from. I've read uh, small parts of it uh, from there. Yeah, maybe Just maybe if you start reading from the book of John, you know, start from the book of John. Take your time. Yes, start from yes. uh, chapter one, and you know, and if you have uh, questions anytime, you can call me. I'm not a scholar in the Bible, by the way. You know, I never claim to be so. Okay. But you don't need to be a scholar to understand the Bible and Christianity. Is this is not Islam? Uh, Christianity. Uh, because the word of God, if the word of God is 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 uh, is making you dizzy, I mean, obviously it's not the word of God. You know, if because God is speaking to me, why he want to make it so complicated? So I don't understand it. God should God should be talking. Yeah, God should be able to talk to to make himself clear to everyone, a farmer or somebody have a PhD. It doesn't matter. As you see in Islam, we have a verse. Then we go and see the interpretation. And then after all the interpretations, still we don't understand what the verse is saying, you know? Yes. I, oh. give, uh, I think I have, to, I have to leave you. All right, uh, all right. I'm sorry, just okay. get too emotional. But uh, I, really, I really want to thank you, uh, all guys, for your time. Uh, I will come back, I will come back. Uh, sure, sure, Manuel. I think I have to Let, let me know if you need anything, all right? May, yes, may, may thank, the Lord thank bless you very you. much, brother. Thank all you. All right, thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much.